Good day everyone, I am Millicent Grace Quino and I will be discussing about Jose Rizal's essays and articles from El Patrio Tolianto Eresas. Writing creates an indelible record of thoughts, ideas, and emotions at a period in time. Writing impacts and influences the readers in a particular way. Jose Rizal has this undying love for the country. He expresses love for the country through his essays, articles, and novels. He even revealed how cruel and abusive the Spaniards in retreatment to the Filipino people. He fought in a silent but powerful way. He indeed proved that the pen is really mightier than the sword. So, these are the articles that Rizal wrote during the Spanish colonial era. Articles in Jaryong Tagalog Jaryong Tagalog was founded by Marcelo H. Del Pilar in the year 1882. El Amor Patria was published in Jaryong Tagalog. It was written by Rizal when he was only 21 years old. It was the first article written by Rizal in summer 1882. He used the pseudonym Laong Laan or Ever Prepared. It was um, an article intended to call for love for the country to his fellow men in Spain. It was also intended for establishing nationalism and patriotism among Filipino people. It was then sent to Marcelo H. Del Pilar for Tagalog translation. And the next article was Revista de Madrid. Revista de Madrid was written on November 29, 1882. But unfortunately, it was not published because during Tagalog stops its circulation due to lack of funds. Articles in La Solidaridad La Solidaridad was founded by Graciano Lopez Jaina in Barcelona, and one of the contributors of La Solidaridad was Jose. The first article of Jose Rizal published in La Solidaridad was Los Agricultores Filipinos, or the Filipino Farmers. This article was all about the Filipino farmers and their experience like struggles, discrimination, and injustice from Spanish government officials and gorgeous civil. The next article was A La Defensa or To La Defensa. A La Defensa was published on April 30, 1889. This was a reply to the anti-Filipino writing of Patricio de la Iscusura, which was published by La Defensa on March 30, 1889. Jose Rizal disproved Patricia's perspective and pointed out the treacherous impacts of the priests to the country. The next article was Los Viajes, or Travels. According to Rizal, travel is a corpus in childhood, a passion in youth, a necessity in manhood, and an elegy in old age. This article was published in La Solidaridad, May 15, 1889. Love or Dead Para Todos or The Truth for All. This was published May 31, 1889. It was all about Rizal's opposition to the Spanish charges that the natives were ignorant and immoral or depraved. The next article was Vicente Barrientes Teatro Tagalog. This was published June 15, 1889, where Rizal exposed Vicente Barrientes' lack of knowledge about Tagalog theatrical art. Vicente Barrientes is a Spanish bibliophile, a poet, and a writer. Next is Defensa del Noli. Defensa del Noli was originally composed June 18, 1889. He sent it to Marcelo H. Del Pilar and wanting it to be published by the end of June in La Solidaridad. Verdades Nuevas New Facts or New Truths Dated July 31, 1889 This was a reply to Vicente Belloc Sanchez's letter that was published in La Patria Madrid's paper on July 4, 1889, which states that if the Philippine reform were granted, it would exterminate the diplomatic rule of the Catholic friars. Next is Una Profanación a desecration or a profanation. Dated July 31, 1889, 
This article was against the friars for denying a Christian burial for Mariano Herbosa, Jose Rizal's brother-in-law and the husband of Lucia, Jose Rizal's sister, who died of cholera on May 23, 1889. Crueldad or Cruelty Dated August 15, 1889, this article was a brilliant defense for Ferdinand Blumentritt from defamatory or slanderous attack of the enemies. Ferdinand Blumentritt was a close friend of Jose Rizal. They usually exchanged letters about their scholarly endeavors which in turn resulted into a brotherly affection. The next article was differences or differences. This was published on September 15, 1889. This article opposed the biased article entitled All Truths, published in La Patria on August 14, 1889, which ridiculed Filipinos who asked for reforms. Inconsequences or Inconsequences Published on November 30, 1889, Rizal wrote this article as a defense for Antonio Luna against the attack of Pablo Murdias in Barcelona newspaper El Pueblo Soberano. The next article was Lianto Erisas, Tears and Laughter. The article was a denunciation of the Spanish racial prejudice against brown Filipinos. Rizal earned first prize in a literary contest in 1880 when the Spaniards and the Mestizo spectators notice that Rizal has this brown skin color or skin complexion, they stop their applause. I hope you learned something from my discussion and that would be all. Thank you.